your records key from Mosley's office. Now we'll move on. Plenty of stuff here. Not much loot left to find, but in this storage room across from the training room, there are three water arrows. I can't seem to remember exactly where they are. Maybe this is the wrong storage room. No? This should be in here. Huh. Maybe I'm wrong. Could have sworn there were some water arrows in here, but perhaps I'm mistaken. Oh well. Oh yes, there they are. In that box. Okay. Who's making that noise? Oops. My goodness. I'm just... First alerting people like mad by innocuously opening doors. Okay. Now these doors which lead out to this sort of main gate area, are highly prone to uh, the disappearing door glitch, so I'm gonna have to be careful of that. There, solved. Now there's the way out to the main gate. That's not the way we'll make our eventual exit. I I think I'm going to clear the north side first and hit the south side on my way back. So, I'm going to open this up and head into this courtyard. Despite all the noise you hear, no one really comes into the courtyard, so that's good. So I'm going to head over here and head into the mess hall. Now, in the mess hall itself, you can find some food. There are, I think, three loaves of bread and some carrots. If you're collecting food, I'm not, because I'm not taking damage, and it is therefore useless to me. I think there's some reading material in here, too. There is at least one patroller who comes through here, so you have to be careful. But, where is it? There it is. Yeah, see, there's, there's the bread and the carrot. Apart from that, all there is is this. Uh, you heard the guard first alert, so I'm going to skip all that business and just go for the reading. Attention! The mechanist, Brother Artis, has informed me that the new security measures will be fully operational tonight. A room in the records hall has been designated for secure records. Only the lieutenants and myself have access. The City Watch Ball will be held at Truer to State. All members of the City Watch are encouraged to attend. The dumbwaiter in the mess hall is not a toy. Please refrain from using it for rides. Sheriff Gorman Druert. Alrighty. So there you go. I open that door so I can listen to him because he walks back and forth on a pretty short route inside that hallway. I just need to slip in when his back is turned and get into the target range. This storage room is empty. Okay, good. Just make sure he's far enough away not to first alert. Guess I could use some target practice. When we open or shut the door, Now, in the target range, you can find five broadhead arrows stuck in the wall. And, rather obvious, I think, there's a button here, which is the fifth of nine secrets. Opens a secret door into the armory. Awesome. Inside the armory, nothing we need, but there are, let me count, one, two, three water arrows a scouting orb, a noisemaker arrow, an invisibility potion, 
and a moss arrow. So, if you want them, there they are. I think... I was gonna say, I think that eventually closes, and there it goes. So, good. Don't really have to worry about that ourselves. Now, as we... Alright, we wanna... We wanna get in on the other side of him. When he's headed down the hall, we'll slip out behind him, and we will head on into the main office. Good little room to hide in, just for the basic purpose of quick saving. Now one guard patrols back and forth in this hallway. I timed it pretty well. Then you come into the main office. Um, if I remember right, a full three of our four remaining secrets are around here. But clear the office first. There's a water arrow on this desk, along with a journal. Paganism. Greaves Street. Paganism. Courtyard Trail. Paganism. Balma Drive. Pagan Sympathy. Pearson Manor. Harboring a Pagan. Dano Block. Paganism. Kimmel Avenue. Paganism. Assault. Fort Street. Assault Class A. Fort Street. Assaults and Crossbow Usage. Arlen Avenue. Assault Class A. North Bisbee Drive. Assault Class C. Glenover Drive, Aggravated Assault slash Dagger Display, Gapota Oak, Assault Class C. Alright, these must be crime ledgers, I guess. And over on the other side, another journal. Burglary, East Park Boulevard, Burglary of Carriages, Burglary of Carriage, Horses Taken, 800. Hawkins Drive, Burglary of Manor, Gold Crest Taken, 2300. Criminal Mischief, Gorn Avenue, Criminal Mischief 300 damage, Crippled Burrick Pup, Criminal Mischief, Patron Thrown Through Window 500, North Crest Road, Criminal Mischief to Collector Tower 250, Millen's Drive, Criminal Mischief to Street Lamp 25 damage. Obviously, some unruly drunks. Now the next desk has a piece of loot on it. Just a statue, worth 15, brings our total to 989, and... I think there's a little bit more reading material, yes, at this desk. First, another crumpled piece of paper that says, KICK ME! Hilarious. Lucy Walker, the watch officers have received a number of complaints about your harassment of the alchemist Grimad. Out of consideration for your masters, you have not been placed under arrest yet. Please keep in mind that any further trouble may result in arrest and confiscation of property. For a safe city, watch Officer Morgan. Alright. Easy enough. Believe it or not, we've already found all of the loot except for what's inside the vault. So, fire a rope arrow up here in the Hall of Records, or in the main office. I guess I gave away what's about to happen, didn't I? Get onto this little edge. Flip that switch. Retrieve your rope. That is your sixth of nine secrets. And then, as you're able to... Ah, a hidden entrance. Indeed, Garrett, indeed. Close that behind us. And as we get up here and flip another switch, immediately, there's our seventh of nine secrets. Now, nobody comes up into the Hall of Records, so there's really nothing to worry about. There's also very little, there's also nothing in here until you open the secure records room with the key from Mosley's office. So, let's read everything in here. Scroll. Name, Lord Monty Romstein. Activity, embezzling money from his business partner overseas. Threat, his business partner has two of the city's top cleaners on retainer. Use, 
Romstein is a very powerful importer. By keeping him under our control, we can use him to get to larger criminal activity. Another scroll. Name, Lady Van Vernon. Activity, frequent adultery. Threat, her husband is very jealous and easily outsmarted. If her husband discovers her infidelity, she stands to lose her comfortable lifestyle should Lord, Van, should Lord Van Vernon throw her out into the streets of Dayport. Use, Lord Van Vernon owns a large number of factories. Our lady could help us cut a deal with him for weapons and armor for City Watch. Remember the name, Lady Van Vernon. It'll come up again later, and the fact that we know she's guilty of frequent adultery will make that incident even funnier. And here is a book. Maintenance. The vault security can be disabled for minor repairs. Simply enter the proper code and the sentries will shut off. The maintenance code is 4026. I should write that down. Now, on to the vault. So obviously if you know the code, there's really no reason to come up here except to get credit for the secrets, but... I feel like it's more organic to come there every time. Plus, I like to show you all the reading material, if nothing else. Just reclose that on the way down. And finally, over here, you see this switch? That's our eighth of nine secrets. Amazing just how many secrets are there in the main office. I think I made a mistake hiding here. I should have run straight across into the locker room. Ah! What the? So yep. So I'll do that this time. I should be able to find something in here. Indeed you can. If you're interested in such things, the locker room has... a flash bomb, two healing potions, and a noisemaker arrow. There's one of the healing potions. There's your flash bomb. There's your noisemaker. There's your other healing potion. I think that's everything. Yep. Now this is the best way to sneak through this area too. Stay out of that hallway with the two guards. That's just a mess. Now in these foot lockers are a moss arrow and another flash bomb. Oh, I don't know if it's those two, but that's what you can find amongst these foot lockers. There's no loot in here. Finally, here in the toilet, you can find, I believe, another water arrow. Yes, there it is. All that done, we'll complete our loop. Well, those two are nice and far away. I want to know who came up with this stupid idea. No, uh, and there's the disappearing door. I do want to avoid that if I can. Avoided. Good. Now, I want to go listen to the conversation at the front desk that I've skipped for so long because I'm basically done clearing the first floor, so the extra patroller is less of a worry now than he once was. I think she comes here first. Then she makes a little side trip down toward the training room. I can slip in behind her and go to the front desk area. And... Listen to the guards. I like to hear everything, see everything, read everything. The watcher is ready and operational. Now it will activate the alarm whenever an intruder doth approach. How does it know the difference between us and an intruder? To find the answer to that question, thou must attend the mechanist's seminary and join our order. The wisdom of Karath is not for the eyes of the common man. 
What about maintenance for all these contraptions? Thy sheriff did insist that all information for thy security systems be left in the care of Lieutenant Haken. Instructions are locked in thy secure records area. What secure area? The sheriff requested us to construct a records hall that only he and his lieutenants may view. Tis no doubt to keep them from the eyes of incompetence such as thee. There's the, the game's first mechanist. That's interesting all by itself. And behold, a man will come unto thee. Ah. You hear that? I would rather avoid that first alert, so I'll give him a little extra time. <clears throat> there we go. Dang it. This may end up being more complicated than I anticipated. But that's okay. Who's there? So I know she'll now head into the front desk. And I'm actually not really familiar with the patrols of the mechanist and the other guard. I don't really care enough to science them out either. I just want to get to the training room. Hmm. Not as exciting as I thought. One of them grubbers again. Hmm. Saw something there. Uh oh. Who's spotting me? Okay, whoever it is hasn't. Someone has first alerted to me. What is this crap? Who is it? What was that? Guess it's nothing now. Uh, looks like nothing. No idea who that is. as I thought. It's this guy. How has he seen me? Was he first Not alerted as to? As I thought. That's gotta just be some kind of glitch. He hasn't seen or heard me at all. Oh well. Let me see how far back my real save is. That's pretty far. Well, I must have messed up somehow. Sorry, folks. Just gonna have to call it Perfect Thief. I have no idea what his first alert was about. He never saw me. He never heard me. He never saw anything out of place. And he never made a first alert remark, either. He just makes the settling remark. I'm a little pissed off. Oh well. Now it's time to deal with this. That didn't sound like- Real lean. Wait for homeboy to leave. We'll go ahead and do another real save. And we need to wait for her to come all the way back and then just follow her down the hall. 
The move we have to pull off with her is pretty tough. It's the only real tough spot in this mission. I have to hope that he's still... Ideally, his back is turned. But at the very least, he needs to be far enough away not to first alert. Now we can just stroll down this hall behind her, <coughs> keeping left, and she usually turns to her left. Which means Say again? That, oops, I made noise. At the end, she usually turns to her left, so if we duck to the right, <coughs> we should be able to avoid being spotted. But she occasionally turns right, and it can be... Over there! See, she turned right that time. Uh-huh. And it can be pretty difficult to time this exactly right. But <coughs> happened for me pretty fast that time. Now just wait for her to get a reasonable distance away. And open up the door to Gordon Affairs. Move in here. First, there's some reading material. Journal entry 1022. I still can't figure out who the hell is robbing the third floor evidence vault. I mean, if it ain't us, then who the hell is it? All I know is that it's attracting a lot of unnecessary attention. I've told the rest of the crew to take the long way to the third floor. Hagen is already suspicious of us as it is. Even though the sheriff will keep him off our backs, I still don't want to get on Hagen's bad side. That idiot really thinks that Truard is some kind of hero. Ha! If only... If he only knew what we know. And... You'll notice this book. That is the ninth and final secret. Ah, that door. <gasps> Brings us rather nicely right up to the third floor. Evidence storage. There's one patrolling guard in this section, if you will, and he kind of roams the whole area, but as you can see, he's heading away from us now. This watcher is also very easy to get past because it turns a full circle. Just have to time it well. Should be able to get through that whole area with no problems at all. Now you can just <clears throat> stay in this lovely darkened side area all the way up to the vault ante room. What? Okay, need to wait a bit so I can open the door without a first alert. Slip through here. Get the third and final pickpocket, and we'll use that one to open the vault ante room. Now here's what I talked about earlier. Opening this door requires us to enter the code. O four, or I'm sorry, four zero two six. But entering that code deactivates a watcher. I better do this quick. Deactivating the Watcher is, by itself, a violation of Supreme Ghost. There's no way around it. So, then we need Mosley's key to open the vault proper. But as you can see, I think at least that Watcher also turns a full loop, so it would be very easy to ghost through there if it stayed on. But if you want to call that another supreme bust, that's fine. In fact, I'm fine with it because it makes the mission unsupremable and I don't have to feel as bad about that mystery first alert. So anyway, the rest of the loot is here in the vault. There's a tiara, two stacks of copper coins, two statues, two rings, two stacks of silver coins. Your total is 1378. Drop Hagen's handkerchief in here. Take off that objective and take the strong box. And now we need to head back down to the second floor.
Although, to be fair, I'm not sure if this is even on before you come into this room. It seems at least possible to me that it's off the entire mission, no matter what you do. But I don't know for sure. Anyway, relock the ante room. Drop this back on his patrol route. And head back the way we came. Got all the secrets, got all the pickpockets, got all the loot. All that's left now is to place, plant the strong box and return the vault key. And get out. That almost goes without saying, I think. Okay, he's on his way back. Just wait here until he's passed. You know, I have a rather silly tendency to get hung up on how fair the ghost rules are in terms of whether or not they allow me to succeed. I should stop worrying about that, like that watcher back there. If a mission's not supreme ghostable, then you just can't do it. <clears throat> you do it, you do the best job you can, and you don't worry about whether the rules let you call it a success or not. Right back out into Warden Affairs. Ideally, you'd be quieter than that, but there's no one around anyway. I'm gonna wait for the guard to come back so that I can shadow her back down the hall. I have more trouble getting around her going back than I did coming in. Cause your job on private guard duty, which is what I know. Sheriff's just as bad as those blue bloody nobles. Except he doesn't even know how to kick back and take it easy. No napping on duty, no short walking patrol. You also don't know. You have to hope that the timing of the other guard lets you manage this. That can be trouble all by itself. What was that? Uh, we've we've got good timing on him this time, so all we have to do is get the timing right slipping by her. And she usually turns right at this end, so if you can just get the timing right and slip around to the left, you can avoid even a first alert from her, which is the dream, really. Let's head to Hagen's office first. Drop the strong box. Time to go. I'd like to get into Mosley's, but may end up having to wait. Which is not a big deal. Let's see what that yeah, we're gonna have to wait. That's fine. So with the strong box in Hagen's office, all that's left is to return the vault key and get out. Hagen's door. <clears throat> Return the key. Wait for him to go by again. Now, all that's left is to get out. Whilst remaining undetected, of course. <gasps> I don't think this is gonna work. Oh, perfect timing, how about that? Excellent, excellent, excellent. 
So, that down through the training room. I love Taffer Patcher. I haven't played with it before, but the the retextures just look so much better. It's wonderful. So now the best way out is just to go to the courtyard we moved through earlier. What's over there? Okay, we're gonna have to wait for him to turn around. The same guy who rather unambiguously busted our supreme ghost, despite me having no flippant idea how. What he was alerted to, don't have a clue. Doesn't really matter though, because he did alert. That much was rather unambiguous. And I had already saved after the alert happened. So I'm gonna wait for her to turn around, just slip out the double doors. Try my best to keep the disappearing door glitch from happening. get to the courtyard, just jump into the well. Find yourself right back here, and as you move into the drain pipe, the mission will end. Alright, so there are our objectives. Boom, 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 all done. Framed, total time, 49 minutes, 18 seconds, found 1378, loot out of 1378, pockets picked, 3 out of 5. The classic bug in all of Thief 2 accounts for one of those. The other one is the purse off of the corpse in the morgue. We picked 7 locks, 0 backstab, 0 knockouts, that is those explanations that just say that 3 is the maximum number of pickpockets in the mission, despite what the statistic says. No damage dealt or taken, no healing taken, nothing and no one killed, no iron beasts destroyed or disabled. What does that mean? We'll find out. Secrets found, 9 out of 9. Campaign totals. Time so far, 3 hours, 44 minutes, 35 seconds. Loot so far, 43.28. Total damage dealt, 8. Those are the knockouts from running interference. And received, 0. Leaving aside the issue of the Watcher in the Vault, which I don't think should be a bust because Frankly, I'm not even sure it's on before you go in there, and you have to turn it off to get into the vault, but that's arguably arguably a supreme bust, but what's not arguable, although I didn't detect the first alert, I just heard the settling remark, and I have no idea what it was about. Regardless, I did unambiguously first alert one of the patrollers, which means this was a perfect thief run of framed. Perfect supreme if you believe that the Watcher isn't a bust is possible and we came very close. There was just that one first alert. Anyway, that's Perfect Thief for Framed. I will see you all next time for Ambush. Bye-bye.